Now here we will discuss the procedure followed to prepare 250 ml 1 m CuSO4 solution. So we want to prepare 250 ml 1 m CuSO4 solution. Now what is the meaning of 1 m? 1 m is 1 mole per liter. If you see we have formula for molarity that is mole divided by volume in liter. Now if I use this formula molarity is given 1 m and we can calculate mole divided by volume. Volume is 0.25 liter. So from here we can say mole is equals to 0.25 mole. Now this is mole of CuSO4 because CuSO4 in this case is solid is equals to 0.25. So what is the bait of CuSO4? So bait of CuSO4 and this will be 0 0.25 multiplied by molecular bait of CuSO4 that is 63.5 plus 32 plus 4 into 16. So let us check this value. So you have 0 0.25 multiplied by 63.5 plus 32 plus 4 into 16. So this is uh, I think okay this is 39.875 so 39. Point 875 gram. So if I round off this one, so this figure comes out to be exactly around 39.9 gram. So what we have to take, we have to weigh 39.9 gram of CuSO4. So what will be the first step? So first step, step 1, be 39.9 gram CuSO4. Once 39.9 gram CuSO4 is weighted, we can put this 39.9 gram CuSO4 in volumetric flask. Put this CuSO4, put CuSO4 in volumetric flask. And then a step 3, add some water to the flask, to the flask, mix CuSO4 with water, that is make solution, and then finally, mix solution volume volume up to 250 ml by adding more water. So these are the steps that we have to follow. So you see we can depict this diagram here so first task is we have to weigh 39.9 gram of CuSO4 and that is 0.25 mole. So you see this is the mole of CuSO4 and this is the weight of CuSO4. So we have to weigh 39.9 gram of CuSO4. So this is the weighing machine digital balance. We can weigh this one and then put this into the volumetric flask. After putting this into the volumetric flask add some water so that we can easily mix, add some water, mix this one so that any reduction in volume due to the heat change can be minimized if I add extra water that is the 250 ml. So we have to add water up to this final limiter goes up to 250 ml. So this is the procedure that can be followed. So this is your step 1 and this is a step 2. In this case we have to add a step 2 as well as step 3 both in my case and this is a step 4 that is we have to put water 
enough water so that is a step 2 and a step 3 that is put CuSO4 into the volumetric flask so we have added CuSO4 into the volumetric flask and then add some water so we have added some water mix them carefully and finally we have to add water so that the final volume is 250 ml so this time this reading is basically 250 ml so final reading that is a graduated scale so here you have a and now this is the CuSO4 solution so this is CuSO4 and this is also CuSO4